Hi, I'm your host, Ron Knight. And I'm John Williams III, co-host of the show. Join us for the Entertainment First podcast every week. It's all about the music and more. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, live and in color, as a matter of fact. And we got the one and only John. Big John is here with me, too, as well. Oh, yeah. And we've got, as a special guest today, a lady who has made a lot of this possible. As a matter of fact, all of it possible. And uh, we kept uh, talking about her in Australia, man. And, you know, uh, wondering what she was doing. I would send her, you know, briefings of what we, what we were doing in Australia. And all of a sudden, we come back. And she's uh, powering out. We would like to introduce to you the one and only, the beautiful Miss Valerie McConnell. Oh, thank you. Uh, Val, you are a, the CEO of Val TV Studios, the Val TV Network. Girl, you've been you've been doing it while we were away. So tell me a little bit how, about how you got involved. I mean, I know how you got involved, but uh, I was just wondering um, how long you had been involved before you got to this point. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to thank you both for having me here today. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, it's been a pleasure to, you know, to know uh, you, uh, Entertainment First, you guys have the talent, the entertainment, and you know, um, and you know, with media, that's how we get, we have gotten started. But uh, to address your question, you know, with me, it's just been simply just, you know, staying focused, um, you know, following your dreams, and always, you know, find a way to achieve them. You know, if it's just, you know, getting out going to a place and that's what happened to me by just walking out my front door uh, with the perception of, of goals uh, got me to this place right on. You know, so uh, I can just say that much but you know I want to let you know I'm very happy to be here at, at the Val TV studio and this is the entertainment first um, and you know, yeah. right. uh, so my point of view right now is basically being brought by by media and being in the right place at the right time uh, covering the events, establishing myself as a principal that with credentials, mm -hmm. and that means getting access uh, where I, places I want to be, and I'm able to share the news, uh, whether it's TV, uh, whether it's uh, uh, music, through, through music or production. I'm able to capture the story and share it with others. So, right. and now um, it, it's paid off. Uh, I think right now with the platforms. Here today, the digital network is is just out of the window. So here we are, we're open, and we want to invite others that want to share their dreams and their goals here. Right on. All right, Johnny. And it's really good that you know we are here and on our first day and try and get this going. And I know we're going to go far with it. And what do you feel about this whole project and what we're doing now? It is so much fun. I mean, I, I mean, it's just so fun. It's just natural. It's just like it's, it's supposed to be. It's like when um, things are right now, you, we have so remarkable uh, people here like uh, Pastor Lamont Browntree. Um, he's remarkable uh, in the TV studio. And we have the television studios capable for, you know, um, you know productions. It's going, and also the uh, also the podcast. We and we have you and uh, oh, Ms. that's good, you know. I miss Kimberly Knight you know. from Australia <laughs> and John. Yeah, it's going John. great. And tell us, are you guys ready for shopping fun? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's shopping right. As a matter of fact, let me tell you, we're gonna be dead. Hey, we're gonna have a ball. Hey, a uh, total ball. <laughs> and that's really fun. That's really funny that you said that because um, I love it. The the uh, shopping fun is a project that. I know that all of us are really going to be into because it really entails so many different products that people will have access to. And that comes about, like I said, the opportunity that you have brought us into makes me feel so comfortable about what we're doing. Um, we're reaching out to more people than we ever reached out to before. Absolutely. And you know, you're doing a great thing by actually giving them opportunity for that to come out to show what they have 
for people to shop and online. I mean, it's the new norm, but yet still, we're still establishing everything all together. I think we'll outdo Amazon, huh? Let's outdo Amazon. Absolutely. I mean, I got, you know, there's more news coming out of uh, Val TV Studio mm -hmm. and I Win Network, Just Righteous and Entertainment First. There's going to be so much news, and you mm -hmm. know, my friend, Mr. Steve Cartlidge, he is a tough act to follow. Really, really, yeah, you know, um, he was the first, our first guest here tonight. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, even my, our friends on Facebook, social media, uh, we are going to have so much fun. And we're going to invite you down because this is the thing. We want you to connect with us, you know, here in the studio uh, so that you come down even this Thursday. We're going to have some great talent in here uh, that's going to be coming to Miss Diamond. She's going to come in mm, okay. and uh, here from the TV studio, we'll be producing her music All video right. show you got called it. Real to Real. And she's got been it. on every platform of like you know South Point she sung with all the uh, great you know people here uh, mm -hmm. in Las Vegas and just those that we want to remember oh, uh, yeah. like Field Flowers. Well here I got more news for you today yes. Mr. Okay. Ryan Knight. All right. uh, you know I can say it was Steve mm -hmm. and boxing. Oh my goodness I'm so happy we're in a good place because Right now, Las Vegas is the capital of entertainment. Right, right. now, and, and a great time to get in too, as well. Let me see, I oh, yeah. got more to say. You tell my media mouth. <laughs> I'm a media mouth. That's all right. Posture. That's why you're on the show. We want you on. I, you know, I'm in position to say, hey, we want you to know that you're going to be entertained. Uh, I want to thank uh, Leonard Ellaby, mm -hmm. uh, Mayweather Promotions, uh, Floyd Mayweather, mm -hmm. um, Otis Imp Otis Pimpleton, um, Kelly Swanson, it, uh, uh, um, Al Heyman, Mayweather's Sam mom, Watson, <laughs> and my 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 sister and yes. my 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 friend. Uh, she's so wonderful. But Floyd Mayweather's mother, uh, Miss Deborah Sinclair, yeah. and she was awarded five awards uh -huh. out uh, at Soul Central Magazine International. And I requested it, and she was granted it. And guess who showed up? Uh, Lord Mayweather Lord. Jr. Lord. And that's how you can. Hey, you know how to know. You know where his heart is. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, we love her. We love her. She uh, she has a great big old house RV, and she cooks all the time. So we want to get her on the cooking show. Now I want to ask you about the program that Val TV Network had its debut on what September the fifth, two thousand three on the BET red carpet syndication. Oh my goodness, you are making me bless. Oh yeah, that tell us true. about that. Oh my goodness, it was wonderful. Uh, with the distribution in Los Angeles, um, certified with mm -hmm. Time Warner, it was wonderful. Um, uh, the ASCAP and also um, the other, um, B BMI. ASCAP and BMI mm -hmm. had granted me the music to actually play on the video show, so me right. did a video jock. Uh, come, you know, I was in college, yeah. dancing on Soul Train, and mm -hmm. a video jock in Los Angeles. All right, you know, the girl from Tennessee. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I was taught to go in and actually learn out everything in the studio, everything from, you know, how to, you know, light the studio to yeah. build the set. Uh, the broadcasting mm -hmm. and I was able to use those skills uh, out on the red carpet so with the distribution in LA we were able to provide uh, access to like four television shows starting with uh, Valerie's uh, Top Ten uh, and also Smith Dogs, um, the Dog Pound Gangsta TV. I am gotcha. the executive producer. Uh, we, were, we were like an outreach at that time. Snoop was actually had the youth football and mm -hmm. he was proven to the community you know he was a well durable guy <laughs> and you know John one giving thing, back one thing about her one thing about her I, I actually met her quite a few years back when Don King opened a studio down the street from my house in back of the Palms oh. Casino that's when I first met her what was what was it so you met. CMX Studios. That's what I meant. And I think it was uh, Jim Brown and uh, Fred Williamson doing a movie. And as a matter of fact, they shot that movie in my uh, complex. Vegas Vamps. Vegas Vamps. Vegas Vamps. And that's when I first met you. You are a worker bee. I love it. Can you imagine just having fun on the set? But you know, I prepared five years of, of actually giving my service at volunteering. Mm -hmm. And uh, Don King, um, the brothers, uh, the Brown brothers, I want to thank them because they were able to uh, provide the access for me to come on for eight years 
to help promote boxing, uh, sports, and entertainment through CMX. Right. And uh, we were uh, definitely a blazing. Uh, we were blazing saddles. We were someone that we had to. You had to be able to come to to the um, CMX studio in order to get a break in, in singing, a uh, film, a uh, sports. And so I was that person that interviewed the people, and I thought mm -hmm. that was great. And that was my first time I was able to, you know, make a lot of money. Do you want to answer the question, yeah, well, John? You know, I mean, you're from Tennessee, so how? What, <coughs> what was your mind at then to come up to where you're at now, uh, to move to LA and? Uh, well, um, as a kid, um, I always knew that I wanted to be an actress. And so with that, my mother was an educator, and it was all school. And I was, uh, you know, I pursued uh, actually to go to Los uh, Angeles to dance on Soul Train and meet Michael Jackson. That was around about my realm. <laughs> so the dreams, again, you want to hold those dreams dear. And I was going to prove that you could do it the right way. I asked God, you know, to actually to provide, you know, the safety. And mm -hmm. I was off to school. So I was educated enough to know that how I wanted to live. So I wanted to live with swimming pools, Beverly Hills, and movie stars. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I mean, it, the truth. Nothing wrong so with I, that. So I stayed in school. So that's how I got to where I, had, uh, I, I am now by actually writing down my goals and you know and believing in my success and you know you got to set your dreams much much further mm -hmm. than what you actually going to obtain right. and my and even if you I, fall short you'll get to your goal right and i do have uh i have the furthest and it's not it's not quite going to the moon right. but uh i do plan to own my own hotels that's good wow. and, and you know what i don't have any doubt that you'll do it mm -hmm. I, I just i know your work ethic i know your work ethic i've been knowing you for a while now and you know, you always said to me, you know, I tried to get you down in Australia. You know that, right? I, I was almost there, but I think you and Kim, uh, you also always, you always brought your talents here and gave the women an opportunity to be queens, and you know that gives women confidence. And that's mm -hmm. what we, another thing we want to help those women that at home right. that you know have children and can't really get out. We want them to be able to come out, you know, to our podcast. And actually establish your own podcast, mm -hmm. establish your own TV show, yep. because that's who we are. Well, and we, so Kim, we're going to have that. that we're going to have actually have. Out, well, see. we're going to have that. Uh, we're going to. I was thinking of a concept that we could do here, because mm -hmm. you mentioned it to me when we first came back. You said, "Oh, I really like those those queens to come and be on it." So you know, what we're going to do. We're going to develop a pageant show. I love pageantry, I do. So we're gonna, and we're going to develop a pageant show. So do you have the pageant show here? Because right now everything's virtual. We cannot, and Kimberly doesn't really want to do it as long as they got to keep wearing masks because it just doesn't make sense. So that's why we pulled back and not done it. But I think your dream can be re, um, realized mm -hmm. if we do it as a show. You understand what I mean? Right. And I think, because, you know, in the beginning, I didn't really want to do it. I told you my story, but I didn't really want to do it. But after I saw how women just gained so much confidence and mm -hmm. went out oh, yes. after that to raise money to help different charities and stuff like that, and just become so uh, ingrained into what they thought they had missed in prior when they had their kids. But it, it, you're right, it was really enlightening. Mm -hmm. John? Yeah, well, it has. I mean, I've been to his pageant shows too, and uh, you know, and what he presents to the women gives them a lot of drive to do more. Yeah. And I, I see that with you too, because I can see nothing's going to hold you back, and you know, I can see that. You know, well, I'm glad you do, John, and I'm so happy that you're here uh, with us too. Are uh, you bringing that international, you know, eloquent? Uh, you know, finesse, and uh, but uh, again, the platform that we have here is going to actually, uh, it's going to be extend all over the world as it is right now. Um, I do, ha I do have uh, a few things I want to share mm -hmm. uh, with the audience and the social media mm -hmm. uh, the, that's coming up. You know, because I am on air, and this is our first podcast. Mm -hmm. um, I want to extend it to. Um, the media journalists that you know definitely have uh, an entrepreneur spirit and someone that you know is loyal to come mm -hmm. here and to establish it. So I want you to get in touch with Ron uh, and he's doing a great job. But what's coming up next now uh, in Las Vegas uh, is that the boxing is really 
giving the people an opportunity to enjoy it with uh, uh we have a match that's going to be made here uh with uh, mike tyson all right and also uh uh, Roy, Jr. Roy, yeah, Roy, Jones, Jr. Roy Jones Jr. And uh, these two people here are actually spearheading uh, the opening back up of Las Vegas. Right. And they're keeping people positive. Even though we're doing virtual, yes. but it is, it is a way to, you know, give reverence to what you have to give reverence to. Right. right? Uh, now, our other fight that's coming up, I want to mention that we have uh, the uh, Charlo, Jermel, uh, oh yeah, Jermel, Jermel Charlo and his brother. Yeah, and Showtime, uh, Mr. Steve Pratt. He's one person I want to let you know is that he's connecting. Um, he's connecting the world with the uh, greatest fights in the world, and that's who I am. And that's the reason why I want to share it. I want you to actually stay tuned for that because it's coming up on. It's coming up on this uh, September the twenty sixth. Okay. It's going to be on Showtime pay per view. September twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. On no pay per view. The pay per view, and uh, Miss Swanson, and uh, we got the PBC Showtime. Uh, these people are here want you to support it. So that way you know that that way they know that you're receptively with this virtual reality. Sure. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna make things a lot better. Mm -hmm. The next thing I want uh, everyone to know about is that uh, we also have the Tank Davis uh, over at Mayweather. Oh, tank. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's going to do a, be um, actually fighting Santa Cruz. And um, he is, uh, it's going to be a tough fight that's coming out in October. October okay. 24th. Uh, those are a few things. And for the television uh, platform for Sinclair, uh, we still are networking with CW. And I want to let you know we have a great show coming up. Uh, uh, that's going to be aired um, every Thursday, and it's actually now you can catch it. You call it's called uh, Yaki Zaki. Now Yaki Zaki. <laughs> Yaki Zaki. You guys hear that? Yaki Zaki. Yaki, Yaki Zaki <laughs> in the mix. World Championship Boxing, and uh, those are the three. But you can meet. Um, you can uh, actually come down and meet us, and we can actually right work up. with you as well. That's my last doing. question for you uh, this evening, uh, young lady, is. EBX TV, which covered World Championship Boxing, was a spinoff from the DPG TV. And I, there was somebody famous in that that you worked with, and it was the one and only Snoop Dogg. That's true. Snoop Dogg, uh, it was corrupt and <laughs> bad. Okay. Okay, um, you know, Eric Brown uh, and Tony Brown was actually the, the financial... Uh, Supporters, supporters for the Don King Caravan for eight years. They had uh, actually um, had uh, everyone for Snoop Dogg to fly up for a fight. Right. Okay. I think it was a Roy Jones fight, and <laughs> I, I got the chance to pick them. But uh, we was that were, was that the fight you gave me the tickets for me and my son? I, no, that was Roy Jones Jr. fight at oh, the okay. D. Yeah, okay, and All right. uh, you and your son, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, so. EBX uh, TV was uh, basically uh, was a was a platform that allowed uh, me to associate with uh, um, Snoop Dogg to, to fly here. Mm -hmm. But the Brown brothers, they always made uh, made us um, you know call the celebrities and, and had them to fly here for Don King. Okay. Like, so I got a whole list each fight for about gotcha. 10, 10 celebrities. We just like <laughs> yeah, right. So I was like Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Snoop right. brought about twenty one people. Yeah, no, he always he always <laughs> come with the entourage. <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, I would like to say um, thank you so much for coming on the program, yeah. the Entertainment First podcast. We also have Big John Williams. That's right, Big E. I, I'm, how do I say it? John. John E. Williams. Williams and third. ladies and gentlemen, obviously, the lady behind the scene right yeah. now who we don't see back there, yeah. you should turn the camera on to yourself. I uh, think so, too. Is, uh, is my wife, uh, Kimberly Knight, she's in back there, she's directing the program tonight. And I want to thank you so much for being on this program and kicking it off for us. I'm glad we could come here and kick it off. I would also like to thank Lamont and uh, Roundtree because he's made a lot of this possible as well. Oh, yeah. And of course, Miss Valerie McConnell who has made it certainly a wonderful interview for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get a hold of us at entertainmentfirst at juno.com or entertainmentfirst.com <laughs> for, now. <laughs> for now. Take care, love you all, and please subscribe. Okay, now you ready? Now, just like I showed you. Yeah. Push in the clutch yeah. and gently yeah. shift it in the first I, gear. I remember, okay. Okay, that was good. Oh,
Okay, look this way. Look this way. Oh. Hey, buddy, get the gas over one. Get the gas. Oh. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. I put your hands on the wheel. Hey, buddy, it's okay. You don't want to break. You're driving. Hey. Hey, why don't you just pull over the brake? That's perfect. Brake, 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 brake. <laughs> Thank you, Dad.